Ding, ding, ding. Battle of the century. Which weight loss medication is going to be better for you? Semiglutide versus tirazepatide. Which one's the better one? Which one's going to be more effective? Which one will help you lose more weight and control your hemoglobin A1C? What's your sugar levels? Let's get down to it. Break it down. Semiglutide, GLP-1, glucagon-like peptide 1. This sits a part of the brain to make you feel like you're not hungry. It slows down digestion too as well, so you don't have as much stomach emptying happen. It also controls hemoglobin A1C, sugar levels that are in the bloodstream. Very good, very effective. A lot of people use it. Some of the different points. It could make you nauseous. It could slow down stomach and it cause some stomach pains and stuff like that. Now we have tirzepatide. It has two main active ingredients, glucagon like peptide one, just like semiglutide, and it has GIT, glucagon dependent insulotropic polypeptide. That means two active ingredients affecting the body, the brain, one, making sure that you're not hungry, two, affecting the slow digestion in the stomach and the stomach eptine, and also releases micronutrients at an even level, so it's controlling your hemoglobin A1C. Now, clinical trials on paper, tirazepatide is the obvious winner of this because it will affect weight loss a little bit more as far as giving you better results, and it will control hemoglobin A1C a little bit better than semiglutide. Not a whole bunch better, but a little bit better. And patients have been describing this as having not as much nausea. Now, listen, either one of these, if you get them from Titan Medical Center, don't worry about the nausea because we will give you an add back therapy, something along with it, that will control and help you not get nauseous on these medications. But both are truly very effective and have changed so many people's lives out there and increased and helped people's health. And that's the number one thing, right? there's a lot of type two diabetics out there. And most of these type two diabetics are overweight or obese. And this is causing a lot of the problems that are going on inside their body and can create even more problems. So when they lose the weight using these weight loss medications, they get healthier all the way around. I mean, even the studies are showing that cardiovascular health improves with these medications. It might be because mainly you're losing weight and you're feeling great, right? So. There's not an excuse anymore to be overweight and obese. It's your time to get the dream body that you've always wanted and be healthier all the way around. So don't delay. If you have more questions about this, you want more information, how it can help you as a patient, please call or text us 727-389-3220. We'll be happy to set you up with a consultation with our medical providers and get you healthier than you've ever been in your life. Become a patient of Titan Medical Center today and start feeling, looking, and performing at your optimal levels. It's a very simple and easy process, and you can do it right from the comfort of your own home via phone, tablet, or computer. Here at Titan Medical Center, all of our therapies are medically prescribed, monitored, and come straight from a U.S. licensed pharmacy right to your doorstep. Our services include hormone replacement therapy for males and females, medical weight loss, injectable vitamin and amino acid therapies, relationship bedroom enhancing therapies, peptide therapies, detox rejuvenation therapy, blood work, and much more. As a patient of Titan Medical Center, we can service you in office or via telemedicine nationwide. So take the next step towards improving your quality of life. Call or text us today at 727-389-3220. Or for more information, you can also visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. These are just some of the consequences of not taking care of your health. Many diseases are preventable with good healthy lifestyle choices. Using Titan Medical Center therapies and maintaining a healthy active lifestyle along with proper nutrition can help you live a longer life and keep you feeling tight and strong. Our personalized approach to each individual patient is tailored to meet their specific needs. For more information on becoming a patient, call or text us today at 727-389-3220 or visit our website at titanmedicalcenter.com. So man, I'll tell you what the three B's are. Beach Body Baddies from Titan Medical Center. That's right. 
when you hear the three B's, think about Beach Body Baddies from Titan Medical Center. And that's what this is right here. You've got Emily and you've got Melanie just looking phenomenal in these uh, Titan Medical Center bathing suits. A one piece white and a two piece black one. Um, fantastic. And man, they really make them pop. So you know what? It's all about that summer body and having it 24 seven, 365, right? And that's what Titan Medical Center can do for you. Get you beach body ready and stay beach body ready. So when you're ready to go out to the beach or to the pool, or just ready to take your clothes off and look in the mirror and look at yourself and say, look, I want to look amazing. Then that's when you need to contact us so we can help you get to those goals. Health and fitness. Health should be your number one priority for sure because without your health, you're not doing anything, right? But then you got to start leveling up and that's where the fitness comes in and that's where you really start molding and shaping your body to where you want it to be. What's up guys, this is Big Drew with Titan Medical. Just want to give you guys a little insight as to why I got with Titan Medical and how they've helped me. Well first off, I've been with Titan Medical for about two years now. If you guys, anybody knows me before Titan Medical, they know me as being Mr. McDonald's. I used to walk into the gym eating McDonald's. I still had abs and everything. But uh, one of the main things that brought me to Titan Medical was when I got my blood work done. Now you guys know, outside appearance is very important very important to me as opposed to anybody who goes to the gym but that outside appearance wasn't being affected by the McDonald's once I got my blood work done at Titan that's when I knew the McDonald's was hurting me rather than helping me so even though the outside looked great the inside has to look great too again once I got my blood work done I got some HRT my testosterone levels were low they were only 400 I thought it was high I thought 400 was four times what it should be it was supposed to be 800, I'm at 800 now and I feel great thanks to Titan. My therapies, gotta go with the Hercules Potion, gives you a great pump, keeps me in the gym for hours and hours. And one thing people don't realize about Hercules Potion too, it works like a Viagra or a Cialis, so you can kill two birds with one stone. Guys, you know what I'm talking about. Next thing, ECA Stack Plus, Ephedra, Caffeine and Aspirin. We also put that B12 and that Chromium aspect in it too gonna give you even more energy and also B12 helps with sleep at night as well so that's what I take before I train with my Hercules potion and the last but not least my ultimate favorite the mass builder the one that makes me eat like a horse MK677 guys MK677 is an oral peptide it works kind of like an oral growth hormone it's gonna make you eat like crazy recover like crazy and grow like crazy and sleep like a baby those are my three favorite Titan therapies here at Titan Medical Center. Again, no more McDonald's for me. Everything is healthy from now on out, and it came from the blood test. Get your blood test, guys, at Titan Medical Center. Know what's going on inside your body. Don't just Google search. Don't rely on Dr. Google. Come to Titan, we'll get you right. This is Big Drew, Titan Medical Center. I'm out. All right, guys, so I'm about to go and show you how easy it is to get blood work through Titan Medical Center nationwide. So you don't have to come in Titan Medical Center to get it. You don't have to be in Tampa. If you're in Tampa or surrounding areas, this can work for you too as well. We're gonna go directly to the lab. I got my lab requisition right here. I got my ID and they're gonna draw my labs right there on the spot. I'm gonna show you how easy it is so you guys can get it done too. Let's go. Let's head down to the lab so we can get our blood drawn. Right now, we're on the way to the lab to get my blood drawn so I can show you guys how easy it is. And I want to see what's going on too. I could have got it done in the office, but I wanted to show everybody, hey listen, it's a really simple and easy process to do. Um, you know, all you have to do is get your slip and when you get your slip from Titan Medical Center, you go and you get your labs drawn and we get the results expedited. So I don't know anywhere we're going to get your lab results within three to four business days. Um, especially with you not having to go into the doctor's office and pay a copay. Um, to go get it, to get the results, right? You literally get your results in three to four business days from Titan Medical Center. And the providers already looked at it, so the medical assistant that calls you about it, 
has maybe a couple little brief little tips or things that are going on on it before they schedule you for your consultation. And let's say you don't want a consultation. That's fine, you can just get your results. So we just wanna make sure that people understand that they can get this checked and how easy it is to get checked. And we're not just talking about like hormones. You know, you're talking about your vital organs. I mean, for guys, PSA, that's a big one. Prostate cancer is on the rise. And I don't know how many patients that we've helped find out that they had early stages of prostate cancer and they would have never found out because their general practitioner never ran the tests. Now listen, at a certain age, you're supposed to get the finger check for your prostate and a blood test. And at that point, a lot of people don't get this done, don't know what age they need to get this done at. So it's really, really vital to get blood work done because this can tell you what's going on and, and there's all different kinds of tests that you can test on top of our full in-depth panel. I mean, there's a lot of different things. Like today, I'm gonna cover not just our comprehensive metabolic panel, our complete blood cell count panel, PSA for my prostate, cholesterol, thyroid, free and total testosterone, estradiol, progesterone, IGF-1 levels, B12 levels. I'm also gonna test my COVID antibodies because you know it's still out there. I want to see where they're at. Um, I'm going to test my glutathione levels. And this is something that you can test because you can take glutathione. Glutathione is going to help immensely in so many different areas, especially for immune function. But a lot of times people have depleted glutathione levels. And this is something you can test to look at to see where you're at. I'm also going to test all of my amino acid levels. So we have amino acid testing that tests all the amino acids, the essential amino acids and the non-essential amino acids. So at that point, you can see what you're depleted on, what's not optimal, and fix it. Or if you're taking some new supplementation and you wanna see how good it's working, you can test it and you can see exactly where you're at. Okay, we are here at the lab. I got my lab requisition here, I got my ID. So we're gonna go in and show you how easy it is to get your labs drawn nationwide through Titan Medical Center. Just got my blood drawn here at the lab. Real simple and easy to do. Now I'm just gonna sit back and wait for the results. Titan's gonna call me in three to four business days. I'm gonna get my results and then I can move forward with optimizing my health and making sure everything is okay on the inside. So. Let me get those results and I'm gonna share them with you when I get them. What's up guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another tight medical movie review just for you. And like I said last time, we were gonna go see Civil War this week. Uh, and Civil War is a movie I think it would take place like maybe in the near future possibly if something Yeah, maybe within the next happens. year or so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's, it's about civil unrest throughout the United States, different states taking on the federal government um, and all out battle civil war. I mean, obviously when people talk about the civil war, they think about back in the day when the real civil war happened and it was state versus state and brother versus brother. This is kind of what it is, but a new age one. And uh, it shows, you know, some of the different things that could be happening. And uh, it was really good. So there was some good action in the movie. Um, you know, I, I think that it could have been a little bit better in some of the different parts. Um, it was good though. I mean, I, I thought it was good. I thought it could have been a little bit better. Uh, more, a little bit more action, I think, than what we've seen. And a little bit more better storyline. Um, it's coming down to girls and kids, like saving the world and like, doing all these crazy things. That, all right, listen, we know that, you know, Females in general. Are Girl support, power! All this stuff, but come on. All right, let's, let's get over this. Where the, the female is the, it's the just, heroine. It's just starting, every baby. Movie, it's just starting. And the guys are, are not, you know, it just it is what it is. So uh, we're hope, equals here in the Sakura's family. I hope this, this comes okay. to an end very shortly. Uh, so I'm going to give this movie, I'm going to give it a 2.7. Wow, okay. I might have go to 2.5. Oh boy, okay. I, I didn't like the way the movie ended either. Neither did I. I thought it could have been a little bit better. No, it was a terrible ending. Leaves you hanging in a lot of spots. No, it was terrible. Out, what it, what it and there's no like, 
oh, uh, what's the sequel going to be like? I don't think anybody's going to want to see a sequel. To there the isn't going to be a sequel because it doesn't deserve a sequel. Now, this movie got some pretty good Rotten Tomato uh, reviews. So, you know, I think it was like an 87 or something like that. I want to meet these, to... Uh, these tomato people. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm still trying to figure out what was even going on in the movie outside of the fact that, okay, there's civil war, you know, and everyone's going after the government. And I don't even know how they mi mixed in this, this group of people. Um, that's number one. Number two, is there really, because I need to like talk to John about it yet. So I'm like, is there really like press that goes with the military yes. to get this content yes. so that somebody gets the content? Now my question after that is for safety purposes, right? You would think that th these press people would go through some sort of safety type thing, especially if you're being supported by the military. No, journalists do go out in the field of military operations. They've done this when everyone's dying around you and you're gonna go out into people dying and killing, you better be packing some heat. You better be wearing some Kevlar, <laughs> a helmet. Something. And have some sort of weapon on you of some sort. I mean, you never know what's gonna happen out there. Now, I don't. I know a lot of journalists probably wouldn't carry weapons out in the field like that, but they usually do have a crew that's with them. As Somebody. As protecting something. them or, or telling them when they can go shoot the shot. You don't just think you're going to go, let, let's go out on a holly jolly ride down down to, to Washington, D.C. and no one's going to kill us. No, actually, you're, you're definitely going to die. It really is like that's real life. You're going to die like if you don't have something to, you know. Yeah. Anyways, my rating on the movie, I'm going to give it a 2. I'll give it a 2.0. 2. Yeah, and it's because it was a lot of killing. Um, there was lots of weapons. There was lots of blood, lots of gore, and that's what I liked about the movie. That's it. I didn't like the storyline. I didn't like the ending. I didn't like some of the characters. Kristen Dunst was okay, but she literally was crying the whole movie. Like, I, I'm like, wow, how do you even get your eyes to do that, like, for the entire movie? I mean, there's sure plenty of ways, but I'm just saying it just looked like she was crying the whole movie. So, ah, go see it for yourself. You can make your own decision on what you think. Check it out. See it for yourself. See if you like Civil War. You know, if you did see it, put it on the comments. Yeah, let me see what you got to say know about it. What you rated this movie out of five stars, right? Because don't take our opinion. Go see it for yourself. Everybody has opinions, right? You have yours, we have ours. And you know what? You can make your own decision about it, if you like this movie or not. So, with no further ado, <laughs> that's John's new thing. We will see you on the next Titan Medical Movie Review just for you. See you then. Titan Medical Center's Biotin, one of our many amazing injectable therapies that helps your body convert food into energy and is important for hair, skin, and nails. For more information, call or text Titan Medical Center today at 727-389-3220 and start on your journey to becoming the best version of yourself. What's up guys, John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're gonna come. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. Before we start, let me just tell you guys how beautiful my wife looks today. Thank you very much, and I'm blessed. But today we're gonna talk about some tips and tricks, hopefully to help you guys out in your relationship. So over time, in our past relationship, We've learned a lot of things. We've learned a lot of things from our relationship. We've learned a lot of things from our friends' relationships and so on and so on. So we want to help people out there. They're going through these relationship issues or want to make their relationship better and give us some good advice, some good tips and tricks to maybe boost that relationship up or hit those sparks and make sure everything is going the way it should be. That's forward and not backward and not stagnant. So. Today is a really good one. I think it applies to a lot of people out there, especially in today's atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Money cannot buy you love. Money can't buy you love. They've been singing about this for so long, <laughs> talking about this for so long, 
But I see a lot of people still making this mistake. And okay. usually it's on the guy side. Uh -huh. Guys think that, you know what? I can buy love. I can buy affection. I can buy girls. And this is... I mean, is... You, you can buy girls <laughs> and you can buy other stuff. Let's yeah. not get you wrong there, yeah. right? But that doesn't buy the true yeah. heart of love. Right. That you know? unconditional love. Uh, you got to earn that one. That love that's there for you no matter what, mm -hmm. even if the chips are down or you lose that fortune, mm -hmm. who's going to be there by your side, right? Exactly. And the other mistake is, is that some guys out there think that they can mess up or not be there and buy affections or buy time. So let's give an example of this. Mm -hmm. First off, let's go back to the previous statement. So a lot of guys I know out there, or some of the guys I should say, lead with the wrong foot. And what do I mean by that? The first thing they say is what they do, how much they make, and what kind of car they drive. Yikes. Okay, guys. Now you put it out there already. Listen, I've got all this money. Um, I can do all these different things. And that's the first thing that they learn about you mm -hmm. because you think that that's the most important thing. It's really not. I mean, yes, having money, having stability, having a good job, are all A pluses and good traits that a lot of women out there or if it's vice versa, men out there would probably look for in a woman, right. right? So at that point, it is a good thing to have, but it's not a good thing to start off with, especially in the first conversation or the first time you meet somebody. Yeah. Not until a little bit later on the conversation or if they ask you. And then if they ask you and it's too early, you gotta kind of question that too. Like, are you just worried about how much money I make and what kind of car I drive? Um, you can get around it. Just be like, so, what do you do? You yeah. Know? The, the best that, thing that, that, that's a common question, you know? But, you know, you don't want to go in and be like, so I got this and I got yeah. that. I know some guys are like, I got this watch and I got yeah. this thing and I bought that the other day. And yeah. it's like, you know, sometimes the real true girl that you're looking for, they may not care that much about that. They're going to look for other traits that you might have right. that whether you had money or not, it's irrelevant. It's always good, you know, I mean, just looking at a girl, right, and then having a conversation and talking about what are your likes and dislikes, right? I mean, these are some common things, maybe some common things that you guys are there doing, whether it's uh, you're in the mall and you're shopping or you're at a museum and looking at paintings, right? So it's kind of like just starting the conversation, like, you know, what do you like? What are you into? What do you like to do? Like some of these different things, instead of just leading off with, I'm a doctor, I've got 10 <laughs> no. million in the bank, I've got a yacht, I'm gonna take you out sailing. You know, like, okay, this is cool, <laughs> we right? We get a tan on Sunday. Right, right. <laughs> um, and then the other point, the other point is this. So if you're in a relationship and you're blessed with money or maybe you're not blessed with money and you mess up or you're not around, right? You're working all the time continuously because listen, we know we gotta work, right? We gotta work to make money, livelihood, to pay the bills and to feed ourselves or our children or significant other. No, no. So at that point, <laughs> you know, when you mess up, let's say you missed a, a big anniversary, right? Oh man, you better get some gifts. Let, let's not, let's not, <laughs> let me, let me back this up because that is a bad example. If you miss an anniversary, you better buy like three gifts. Okay. So yes, money could buy your anniversary back. So let's go there. But if you mess up, let's just say it's a very common one, right? Let's say you cheat. Ooh. I can assure you that flowers are not going to fix that, okay? So you can't go and buy or you take them for like, let me go get you a new purse or let me go buy you a car or let me go and get you something and you think that that's just going to make it all right. Everything after that is going to be peaches and cream. It doesn't work that way. You are going to have to regain their trust. That's what you have to do. You keep, money doesn't do that. You have to do that. Money's not going to buy them trust. You can't buy trust either. So, I mean... It is what it is. You know, you're not going to be able to buy love. You can't um, be with somebody and then take them shopping sprees and not spend any quality time with them or not do anything with them and just keep buying them a bunch of stuff. Be like, well, I got you a diamond bracelet and I got you these diamond earrings and I bought you this purse and whatever it might be. I mean, honestly, I'll be totally honest with you. Like me personally, I didn't. I even told John when I first met him, and this is true statement. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. I told him, I said, I don't care how much money you got. Like, I don't care. Like, I want to make sure, I, I said, I want us to make good money. This was back in the day, way before Titan was even thought of. I was like, I want us to be stable. But, you know, if you're not never around, it's irrelevant. 
I was like, I'd rather be broke and be able to spend time with you and you have to spend time with our family than have money and you not be around. And that, I mean, I, I was honest about that. I really meant that because I, you know, love him so bad. <laughs> the bonding time was what really makes a relationship, right? This is with your wife, your fiance, your girlfriend, or somebody you're just starting to date. Mm -hmm. uh, the time that you spend builds that connection with you guys. So it's hard not to have time with them and to build a real true connection. Mm -hmm. Even with the world we live in today and the environment where you know you might not be able to travel and see people or whatever it may be, you have to do it over a phone. I mean, yes, you're having some communication with them, you're spending some time with them, but there's nothing like being with them, touching them, holding them, hugging them, and having and creating these new experiences. You guys are going to do things maybe you've never done before or doing things you like to do together. There's no substitute for that. Um, and like I said, there's exceptions to every rule to a certain to a I mean, certain like we totally percent, love right? gifts. Like let's not, like I'm not, I cannot downplay yeah, this. Yeah. I really do like gifts. I like gifts. I like <laughs> diamonds. I like purses. <laughs> I like shoes. I like stuff too, okay? So let's, we need to be realistic here, right? Because girls do like it. Wait. You can gift them. However, this doesn't buy the love, right? Because right? then guess what? Then you build a whole relationship on materialistic things. Yep. That's not a real relationship. Yep. I mean, I guess it could be if you want to just keep buying stuff, but it's not a real heart-to-heart -heart relationship where you guys are actually connecting. It doesn't create love. It right? doesn't. It doesn't create love. Uh, it can accentuate love. Like, you know, if you really you have an anniversary and you really want to buy a nice anniversary gift or their birthday or whatever it may be, or you're thinking just off the head, hey, listen, I'm going to get her flowers. They're going to appreciate that, right? Mm -hmm. And they're going to love that gift that you give them. But if it's to make up for something, it's going to be a hard one. And they might take it and accept it and be happy for that moment. They'll take it. But they might be thinking in their head differently, right? And you don't know that. You're just like, oh, well, I gave this to her. It's over with. Thank God. I'm out of this. Let's go on and move on, right? <laughs> and it just, it, yeah, right. It, it never happens. <laughs> it, they might be happy for that that small little minute. Oh, and then, I love this. And then later on, it's like uh, two days later. You know what? <laughs> I'm still really pissed about this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is just one good tip for you guys, and it's a long, That's a good one. long tip from a long, long ago, right? Mm -hmm. They've been saying this forever. Songs, those old wise tales. So money cannot buy you love mm -hmm. at all, right? Mm -hmm. So I hope you guys understand this, you guys utilize this, and if you guys do got money, that's a good thing, right? But don't lead off with it either. Now, there's other things about yourself that you're probably gonna wanna lead off with because that's really gonna find true love. Yeah. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And this sums up another Cupid's Corner. Thank you guys for joining us every Sunday here on ABC, 11 a.m. If you guys missed it, try to DVR, or you guys can always hit YouTube, just search Titan Medical Center, and you guys will get all the Cupid's Corners you guys love. You guys get to listen to it all day long if you want to. <laughs> so we'll see you guys next week. See you then.